As a man steps onto the battlefield, our anticipations oscillate between the extremes of triumph and defeat. Should fortune favor him and victory ensue, he shall reap the bountiful rewards of his valor. Conversely, should he meet his match and suffer defeat, no spoils shall grace his endeavors. Likewise, in the tapestry of your life as a Christian, engaging in skirmishes against the sinister forces of darkness demands naught but a triumphant resolution. For falling short in this spiritual warfare not only subjects you to scorn and heightened assaults from the malevolent adversary, but also denies you the bounteous rewards of victory. Yet, should you align your spirit with the divine, victory becomes an assured outcome. Today, the divine decree resonates, heralding an end to the protracted era of affliction and defeat that has besieged your existence, transmuting each life's battle into a cascade of blessings. Brace yourself to witness the awe-inspiring manifestation of God's omnipotence, a force that humbles the foe, echoing the resounding victory over Goliath. Such divine power possesses the capacity to transfigure the very fabric of your reality. As the narrative draws to its denouement, supplications shall ascend, hastening the materialization of divine intervention in your life, fortifying the bond with your celestial Father. But ere we advance further, I beseech thee, ensure thy subscription to this channel. In the sacred annals, the annals of humanity's journey, each mortal, be they regal or humble, confronted the trials of existence. Kings waged wars upon the fields of battle. Others grappled with the turmoil of their innermost selves. Consider the plight of the Zarapa widow, ensnared of financial destitution, or the tribulations that beset even the Messiah, Jesus himself. A discerning eye shall discern that divine providence guided each soul through the crucible of adversity. The Saga of David, particularly his confrontation with the towering Goliath, encapsulates this timeless truth. Goliath, a specter of dread, cast a long shadow of fear and trepidation upon the chosen people of God. Yet, when David embraced the mantle of divine favor, courage welled within him emboldening him to confront the fearsome giant. As chronicled in the sacred verses of 1 Samuel 17, 45, 47, David defiantly proclaimed, You come against me with sword and spear, but I come in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel. In David's unwavering trust in divine providence, victory was assured. His resolute faith bore fruit in triumph, as he declared, the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I will strike you down. The world will see that victory comes from the Lord, not by sword or spear, for the battle belongs to the Lord. He will hand you over to us. This stirring tale serves as an indelible testament to the efficacy of placing one's trust in the divine. Beloved, dare you summon the fortitude to confront your adversary even now, Envision the towering obstacles and formidable adversaries that loom over you. Whether it be the daunting specter of a legal imbroglio or the relentless onslaught of sleepless nights, summon forth your inner resolve and proclaim with unwavering conviction. Today, the Lord shall deliver you into my hands. I shall emerge victorious, for this battle is the Lord's and he shall transmute every trial into triumph. Let this proclamation not be mere utterance, but a potent invocation suffused with the boundless power of the divine. Embrace it, for with God, all things are possible. In the twinkling of an eye, the Lord dismantled the specter that haunted the specter that haunted the children of Israel for generations. Similarly, he stands ready to transform every travail in your life into a wellspring of blessings if only you dare to believe and cling steadfastly unto him. Understand this, a giant is not merely a physical colossus, but a metaphor for the monumental challenges that beset us. Goliath's towering stature serves as a vivid allegory for the seemingly insurmountable trials that afflict God's children. 
Whether it be the relentless scourge of illness, akin to the woman who suffered for 12 long years, or the enduring struggles of unemployment and marital discord, God stands poised to bring them all to a swift and decisive conclusion in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you desire to witness the transformative power of an encounter with God in your life? Then it's crucial to take a thorough look at yourself and ensure that your life aligns with God's principles and commands. Don't fall for the deception of those who claim that success and sensibility can be attained without God. They are leading you astray. Your salvation holds immense importance because certain blessings are exclusively available to those who walk in righteousness before God. When you make the decision to amend your ways, God warmly welcomes you into his fold. However, it doesn't end there. There are essential steps you must take to fully unlock these blessings. Firstly, fervent prayer is paramount. Prayer is a powerful tool that has the capability to turn seemingly impossible situations around for those who earnestly engage in it. While it's undeniable that life's battles are inevitable, most of them are spiritual in nature, even if they manifest physically. Ephesians 6 verse 12 reminds us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Let prayer become your daily dialogue with God. Seek his assistance through prayer, acknowledging your own inability to fight on your own and demonstrating your dependence on him. The devil understands the potency of prayer as a weapon against him, and he will attempt everything possible to hinder you from praying effectively. Remember, the less you pray, the stronger the devil's influence against you becomes. Always bear in mind that you serve a God of limitless possibilities. Merely ask him to turn the negative situations in your life into positive ones. Although God is aware of all your needs, he still encourages you to ask. Is that too much to ask? All that's required of you is to maintain an active communication line with God at all times. Imagine eagerly anticipating an important call vital information poised to be relayed to you. However, instead of ensuring your phone is fully charged and with a strong network connection, you neglect this crucial detail. Upon reaching your designated meeting place, you realize with dismay that your device is dead. What do you think would happen? This scenario mirrors what occurs when your communication with God is severed. Daniel understood the indispensable role that prayer played in his life. Despite facing relentless attempts to deter him from praying, he remained steadfast. When your human frailty overwhelms you, that's precisely when you should intensify your prayers. While there isn't a perfect time for prayer, seize any opportunity to commune with God, whether it's in the morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Allow your prayers to flow naturally without constraint. God doesn't require breathing space. He delights in conversing with his children and never tires of it. Consistently praying without immediately witnessing results can be disheartening at times. However, if you persist without relenting, you will eventually witness the manifestation of your prayers. Remind God of his promises concerning your life. Today, he assuredly pledged to transform your struggles into blessings. God is truthful and faithful. His promises will come to fruition sooner than you anticipate. Secondly, humility is another crucial step. Only a humble heart can recognize its own vulnerability and relinquish control to God. A heart filled with pride will always strive to demonstrate its ability to succeed independently of God's assistance. However, God cannot collaborate with such an individual. If you genuinely desire God's help, you must be prepared to step back and let him take the lead. It's perfectly acceptable to be uncertain about how to handle certain situations. However, seeking alternatives outside of God's guidance is a mistake. When you're unsure of what to do, remember that God knows the way forward. 
Until you humble yourself and allow him to demonstrate his power, you won't experience the full extent of his involvement in your life, regardless of how insignificant the situation may seem. Therefore, eradicate pride from your life and observe how God transforms all your struggles into blessings. Thirdly, it's essential to maintain unwavering faith and hope in God. Faith entails believing that your requests have been granted even before you witness their fulfillment. It's not only about believing in the outcome, but also acknowledging that God has the ability to grant your desires. This steadfast faith is crucial for your blessings to materialize. Consider King Jehoshaphat, who possessed a formidable army well-trained and prepared for battle. Despite the army's prowess, Jehoshaphat placed his trust in God. He understood that victory wasn't solely dependent on the army's skills. Rather, it relied on God's intervention. When you place your confidence in God, victory is assured. David's triumph over the Philistines illustrates the power of trusting in God. His faith propelled him to face Goliath fearlessly, a task others avoided. Recalling God's past deliverance, such as when he fought off lions and bears to protect his sheep, bolstered David's confidence. He knew that if God had helped him before, he would undoubtedly do so again. Similarly, Joseph's journey to fulfilling his God-given destiny was fraught with challenges. His brother's jealousy led them to sell him into slavery, disregarding whether he lived or died. Despite facing betrayal and wrongful imprisonment, Joseph's faith in God remained steadfast. He never blamed God for his misfortunes, but instead kept his focus on God, anticipating how he would turn his struggles into blessings. Listen closely. Perhaps you haven't realized this yet, but understand it now. The God depicted in both the Old and New Testaments remains unchanged. His wisdom and power endure undiminished by time. He is eternally God and always will be. No circumstance or challenge can diminish his faithfulness or sovereignty. Even in moments of your own unfaithfulness, God remains steadfast, ensuring that all things ultimately work for your benefit. Be assured, God is on the brink of transforming your struggles into blessings. Your only option is to embrace this truth and maintain unwavering hope. Fourthly, adopt a lifestyle characterized by praise, worship, and thanksgiving to God. You've likely heard it said that gratitude is a precursor to receiving more blessings. Therefore, cultivate a habit of praising and thanking God in advance, even before you witness the manifestation of your blessings. Understand that your current battles are temporary. They won't persist indefinitely. However, your approach to them will significantly impact the speed at which you attain victory. Consider the example of Joshua leading the Israelites to claim the promised land. They didn't rely on conventional weapons to breach the walls of Jericho. Instead, they praised God, and the outcome was history. Similarly, King Jehoshaphat recognized the potency of praise and worship in the face of adversity. Instructing the people of Judah to worship God on the battlefield might have seemed foolish to some, but Jehoshaphat comprehended that victory ultimately belonged to God. Even if they engaged in combat, victory would only be assured if it aligned with God's will. Thus, he chose to prioritize worship over conventional warfare. Through this act, the heavenly hosts engaged in battle against their adversaries. God strategically set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir. When you engage in praise, it causes great confusion in the kingdom of darkness, and God rises in authority for your benefit. Therefore, my dear friend, cultivate the habit of praising and worshiping God even before victory is evident. Waiting until you see results is unnecessary because God dwells within the praises of his people. While prayer may take time to resolve issues, praise can bring about swift results in an instant. Fifthly, obedience to God's instructions is paramount. True obedience entails fulfilling all that the Lord commands, even when it's inconvenient for you. Partial obedience motivated by convenience 
falls short of God's expectations. If God directs you to relinquish everything and follow him to end the turmoil in your life, holding on to certain things while abandoning others will not lead to the desired outcome. Remember, partial obedience is not obedient at all. It's imperative to obey God completely. Sixthly, another crucial point to remember is to never lose faith in God. As a songwriter aptly puts it, God is fully capable of fulfilling every promise he has made to you. Therefore, do not abandon your trust in God because he will never abandon you. This assurance is profound. The very one who is poised to rescue you from your seemingly hopeless situation will not forsake you. He remains your constant source of help in times of need. Even when all avenues appear closed, fix your gaze on the one who created you and steadfastly trust in him in every circumstance. Consider the example of God's servant Job. Despite facing unimaginable trials, he did not waver in his faith or blame God for his misfortunes. Job's integrity was evident as God himself boasted about him to the devil. Despite the adversity he endured, Job did not lament or question God's sovereignty. His unwavering commitment to God was unwavering. When his wife suggested cursing God and giving up, Job responded with wisdom, acknowledging that both good and trouble come from God. Throughout his ordeal, Job remained steadfast in his faith, not sinning in his words. Your situation may not be as dire as Job's, yet it is crucial to emulate his unwavering faith. Despite the discouraging words others may speak, cling to the hope that God will turn your circumstances around. Even if your situation seems frustrating and hopeless, remember that God has the power to transform it. However, if you give up before witnessing the manifestation of his blessings, you will miss out on the opportunity to partake in them. Trust in God's timing and hold on to your faith until the end. My dear child of God, it's essential to speak positive affirmations over your life and the situations around you daily, each morning. Remind yourself that whatever the enemy intended for harm, God has transformed it for your benefit. Even when negativity surrounds you, maintain a positive outlook and continue declaring positivity until it becomes reality. Why? Because if God has spoken it, he will surely make it happen. Lastly, be intentional in your service to God. Beyond mere actions, God values intentionality. He desires to see that your service stems from a place of genuine love and purity of heart. When God observes that your devotion to him isn't solely motivated by the benefits you anticipate, but rather by a sincere desire to please him, he will act swiftly for your ultimate good. Consider the example of the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Despite facing the fiery furnace, they resolved to remain faithful to God, even if he chose not to rescue them. As stated in the book of Daniel, but even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. This steadfast commitment to loving and serving God genuinely, regardless of the outcome, serves as a powerful reminder for us all. Let us bow our heads in prayer. O oh, my Father, creator of the vast expanse of the universe, I humbly prostrate before your majestic throne, acknowledging your sovereignty and omnipotence. You are the sustainer of my very being, and I am awed by your magnificence. Mighty Redeemer, I offer heartfelt thanks for the battles you have valiantly fought on my behalf in times past those you are currently engaged in, and those you are in the process of transforming into showers of blessings. I lift your name high above all others, for in your infinite mercy, you continually grant me reasons to rejoice, even amidst my moments of faltering faith. Ava Father, I come before your throne of mercy with contrite heart, seeking forgiveness for the transgressions I have committed. I acknowledge my wrongdoings in thought, word, and deed, and I implore your boundless mercy and grace. 
Grant me the grace to be deemed worthy of inheriting your eternal promises. Thank you, gracious Father, for your unending forgiveness. I place my trust entirely in your unfailing love and compassion. Today, I beseech you for your divine intervention in the labyrinth of my life's journey. Quell every specter of fear and anxiety that haunts me in the face of the battles that lay before me. Grant me the clarity to recognize that apart from you, I am but a frail vessel. Open wide the doors of my heart to your divine guidance and lead me along the path of righteousness, especially amidst the tempestuous storms of this challenging season. I acknowledge my utter dependence upon you, now more than ever. Amen. Father, grant me the discernment to perceive the glimmer of hope amidst the darkest of clouds. Strengthen the fibers of my faith in you, for you are my unwavering anchor and steadfast source of strength. Your promises assure me of victory in every battle, and your divine alchemy transforms my struggles into testimonies of your grace. Lord, I firmly believe that there is nothing beyond your omnipotent hand, and I trust you to intervene in every situation of despair that surrounds me. Hearken unto my supplications, O Father, for your word assures me that those who call upon you shall be answered. Let the cry of my heart reach your ears this day, and let your response be swift and merciful. Guard my heart against the snares of discouragement that the enemy seeks to sow in my path, and let the comforting presence of your Holy Spirit turn every seed of doubt into a fountain of encouragement. Blessed Redeemer, you alone are my God, and in you alone do I find refuge and solace. Your name is a stronghold, a fortress against all adversity, and as I seek shelter within its hallowed embrace, I'm assured of salvation by the indwelling of your Holy Spirit. By faith, I lay hold of the blessings you have ordained for me, and I beseech you, O Father, to remove every hindrance that seeks to obstruct the manifestation of your promises in my life. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, I boldly declare that as a child of the Most High, I am invincible. With heartfelt gratitude, I anticipate the dissolution of my struggles and the advent of abundant blessings cascading upon me like a mighty rushing wind. And so it shall be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we part ways, I urge you to demonstrate your support by liking this video, sharing it with others, and staying tuned for forthcoming content. Thank you for your viewership. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest releases. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you always. Amen.